This is Eric Tolman. Today's date is May the 6th, 2015. We had to redo the video uh, for some reason. There was an error, uh, but we apologize for that. Uh, today we've got extended coverage on quite a few uh, requests and some concerns that a lot of people have been really, really concerned about. We'll give you one clue, which is all of Michigan roads, that seems to be a very popular uh, concern and issue that we've been dealing with in Southeast Michigan and Metropolitan Detroit. And when you hear what a lot of people and viewers had to say um, in Southeast Michigan about Proposal 1, you'll be really surprised on that. And they are going to also discuss the results and then hear their share about what people had to say about Proposal 1. And since that, that uh, part of it failed and more people responded to no, I also, in that part, I would not have vo voted, I'm sorry, in regards to Proposal 1 on my part, I would not vote yes for Proposal 1 because I most definitely would not want to be paying uh, extra taxes for gas and all that other stuff in, in between and a whole bunch of other fluid stuff. So if a lot of people in Michigan are saying no to Proposal 1 and everyone's saying no and the percentage that uh, we do know is 72% said no for yes was 26% but the rest of the newscast is on the video that you're going to see and I'll have quite a few videos and this is going to tell you what the next plan of action is going to be in regards to fixing our roads and uh, uh, recovering our roads and fixing them and getting rid of those potholes but until action is made by Lansing, Michigan we're stuck with uh, roads that are not repaired or fixed. You'll find out more about that coming up in just a couple of minutes. That's the breaking news that we have outlined that we're working on right now. So you're not missing out on anything. This is Eric Tolman in the breaking newsroom and I will continue to keep you posted on all of the results and I'll stay on top of it and when we get more breaking news on uh, what the next step is going to be if the next plan doesn't work then they might go forward even more but either way you'll get all of the breaking news reports etc on the proposal and the funding to fix Michigan roads so I just want to give a thumbs up to all of those people in Southeast Michigan and Metro Detroit for saying no to proposal one and I'm actually in that same vote, I also would be voting no as well. So uh, thanks to all the people that supported us in Michigan for that vote, since that it did not turn out very well, because uh, the results that we made were good. So we won uh, our first bet. So now it's going to be up to Lansing to figure out what they're going to do and then we'll go from there. So I'm going to attach the other video and I'm going to go now so you guys will have the rest of the story and hear what uh, the other people in Metro Detroit and other viewers on Channel 7 had to say about the proposal. And you'll hear more about it on WXYZ.com and I'll attach that video and other videos related to that coming up in a few minutes. Stay tuned, there's more just ahead. Good morning, this is Eric Tolman with the breaking news. And this is in regards to proposal one. And voters are overwhelmingly rejected proposal one. And uh, that was the voting from yesterday. And you're going to hear on Channel 7 Action News, WXYZ.com, what a lot of people across Metro Detroit and Southeast Michigan are saying about the voting and in regards to Proposal 1, in regards to fixing our roads. And they will discuss uh, the results and much more. 
And this is the breaking news report that we got from Channel 7, Action News, WXYZ, Detroit. With those results at the polls, all eyes were on Prop 1 and the voters have spoken. An overwhelming number voting no to increase the state sales tax to help fix our roads. We were the first to call it more than an hour ago now. Here's a look at the latest numbers into our newsroom. 74% of voters saying no, 26% said yes. We have team coverage from both sides, beginning with 7 Action News reporter Aaron Baskerville, who's in Lansing tonight with the governor. It's all about what happens next. It's back to the drawing board, as the governor said tonight. He also told reporters this ballot initiative is better than doing nothing. The voters had their say as they looked for lawmakers to come up with other options to fix the roads. The governor telling us tonight he believes more pressure will come from voters now to have a plan B for Michigan's crumbling roads. He hinted at another possible ballot initiative with two options. That's what I would have hoped to have had happen theoretically is make it more so there are two options and people could choose, but there's a solution either way. The challenge is we don't have a solution and we may have to go back to the drawing board. So again, that could be something that could be part of the consideration set. The governor believes the measure could have failed for several reasons, including skeptical taxpayers not happy with hundreds of millions of dollars going to other areas besides roads or because voters feel lawmakers need to tighten their belts. Even though it didn't work, the governor called it a well-structured campaign. I'll go back to the original point when people say, well, why did you do this if it wasn't all set up in the background? This is better than doing nothing. I mean, it was important to get the issue out there. We're told the work starts again immediately with the governor talking to leaders of both chambers about a plan B. In Lansing, Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News. Well, we all know the governor was a huge supporter of Prop 1. However, many Michiganders, of course, showing at the polls that they didn't feel the same way. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chaket is live in Troy where opponents of Prop 1 gathered tonight. Simon. Absolutely. We heard a lot of cheers and applause here inside this hotel as voters voted down Proposal 1. We spent the night here at the Marriott in Troy with those who campaigned hard against the sales tax increase to pay to fix roads and also fund other projects. Now, they had expected the party here to last a little while longer, but that news did come down quickly. The voters have spoken, and despite the best efforts of the governor, people did not believe this was the best solution to create badly needed road funding. Just take a listen to what we heard from the podium. We want a responsible approach to fixing our roads, an approach that effectively and wisely uses our tax dollars. Yes. An approach that reflects the priorities of the voters. This could be an opportunity to resolve the long neglected roads and bridges in this state. Let's take advantage of that opportunity. Yeah. Thank you. Now coming up at 11 on 7, we're going to hear live from the group Say No to Higher Taxes and Special Interest Deals, including what they think is the best plan to fix our broken roads. Back to you. All right, thanks, Simon. Now to Oak Park.